Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Freebie Friday. So I have put together a little freebie that is incorporating our fall along with the new Poppies digital kit on the Dear Julie Julie channel. So if you have printed out your Freebie Friday and you're going to follow along, I'm going to cut around the outside of this and then cut around all these pieces and have them ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have cut around all these pieces and I cut around this, this piece here. And then you can go ahead and fold it. Okay, and so we're gonna move these over to this side and what we're going to do next is we're going to lay this one down on top of here. Okay. And you know what? If we go ahead and lay this down like this, we can use this. We can use this as our guide for cutting this bottom piece off. Okay? So we're going to cut off this bottom piece and add that to our pieces over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this over and down just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. So can you see it's just a tiny little bit that I have moved it over and I've moved it down. So there's like a, just a little tiny, what would it be like? A sixteenth of an inch between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch okay I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna fold this piece in okay take that piece and fold it in so that's the the piece that is over there <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold you know what I think we can fold it over Fold it over. Okay, so this, this piece you've got to flip and now you're going to fold it over. So flip and fold. Not fluff and fold. Flip and fold. Okay, now we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it inside here. We're going to lift it up a little bit. Okay, so about a quarter of an inch. You're going to lift it about a quarter of an inch. We're going to fold this over and we're going to cut that, okay? So we're going to use that top part like as a template. And you're going to be able to do this with other things that you have after you see this technique. You probably already know how to do this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull it back down Okay, I'm going to pull it back down and that gives us a piece inside here that is the same size as our other piece. The other thing is it gives us this. Now, you can go ahead and glue this down. You can make it into a pocket if you want to. I'm going to leave it as a flip. I think it's really kind of cool like that. And so that is my first, my first page. Yes, we are making a little notebook. Now I'm going to take this one. This is our cutoff piece and it's going to work to just go ahead and, um, you know what? Let's flip up and get a, give it a pocket. We don't have any pockets in here yet. So let's flip that up and give it a pocket and then we'll fold it over, okay? So I love pockets and I cannot lie. So I want a pocket in there, um, okay? I'm gonna turn this this way. Whoa, did I? Okay, just make sure that it's within your 
your cover. So I have this page and this page made out of the plaid. And remember, I drew this plaid several years ago while we were on a camping trip. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got this cute little piece, and I think it's going to be fun. Make sure your squirrels are in the right position, and we're going to go ahead and just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it going to fit? Oh, barely. Okay, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. We're going to take out some pretty scissors... And we're going to go ahead and cut this down with our cool scissors. Okay. So if you don't have the scissors, that's okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I love it. Okay. Then, um, then we have our owl. And I think our owl is going to go in the center. And okay. So I'm not going to I'm not going to cut him to to fit. You know what? I'm thinking now that I want to do this. And I'm going to put that behind him. Okay. So let's go ahead and measure, kind of figuring out where we want him to go. I'm going to just come up. I'm going to cut along the second line underneath him. Okay. And then, and then... We can add this. Okay, so let's come along here. So we've got this piece. Because I don't I just didn't think I needed um, a pocket that tall. Now you can glue this down. You can use washi tape to put it down. I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna hopefully get a really thin bead of glue. We'll see, because you know how I've been lately with this glue. Let's see if we have a little something to start it on. Yeah, there we go. The first one, the first piece out, I, I've been, it's been huge. My little dot. So, there we go. Little thin bead of glue. Add it on here. And you can fold it first. That actually probably would have would make it easier. Okay. I did clean my desk after um, after making the doing the mail, processing the mail. So I hope you checked out that video. Um, whoops! I went the wrong the wrong way. I want him to be the center. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So like that. And then he can sit in here in the center. And, I, you know, we could go ahead and put a little pocket down here. I think we will. Okay. But this time we're going to fold it first. So we have some pockets which is good, I think. And okay, I'm going to start in the middle here and go up and go down. Maybe starting in that bottom corner would be better. I'll have to try that next time. Okay. There you go. I don't know if you saw, but Spectrum Art Creations got in a bunch of the Tim Holtz Halloween. Um, th this year's the new Halloween. 
I don't know what she's decided on how she is going to sell it, whether she's going to do something today on Friday or Saturday. So check out Spectrum Art Creations. Um, you can check her Facebook page or go to her YouTube and see if she's told us what she decided. So I have not seen an update on it. Um, so yeah, so there we go. We've got a little pocket here. We've got a pocket here, and I am liking it very much so far. Um, so let's see if since we switched that around, we could go with this in front of that. Okay, this in front of that, and then I'm gonna add. Where where do I have? I have some. Okay, I, think I, I have some that I already cut. <laughs> okay, it's um, from when I've cut out other pages. It's just enough to like make a little list or something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that right in here. Okay, or should we put it up here behind this? got three three little pages and you can add more to this if you want to um, oh we didn't we didn't glue these down let's do that real quick I'm starting on the inside down there where it'll bunch up together So I think it's more important to have more room at the top of the pocket than at the bottom. I don't know, but I'm going to guess. <laughs> okay, so we just make this little fun little goodie here. I do have one more piece um, in the scraps that I had. And this was um, from my mom's stuff. And you know what? we can go ahead and we can make a mini flip-flop i was actually thinking about a mini flip-flop in here of course let's see okay so what a mini flip-flop is it gives us um more journaling space and depending on how we put the gutter down tells us if it is a true flip-flop which means it literally flips and flops when you open the flip and that is if you put the gutter and glue it to the flap you'll have a true flip-flop so let's show you that this is something we do all the time here on the dear julie julie channel um, because i tend to over decorate journals and I need more journaling space so I came up with this idea a few years ago to add the um, the journaling space into my flip and the first time I did it I went like this and I put this down and I held it and I had a flip-flop okay so that is a true flip-flop and of course you can put another one right here that doesn't flip. Um, or you can just leave that. I think we'll leave it. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll add this. We'll add this. And then I thought that we could add... Um, so we'll do... a the other type of flip-flop okay so I'm just gonna cut this here and here okay and the reason that I add the gutter is that way you're all you're missing all you're gonna lose as far as paper 
is that little space. That little space is all that you really are not going to be able to write on just on this back side because we're going to glue it down. But all the other you're going to end up with two small pieces and then the full pull out. So you'll have that, you'll have this, and you'll have this because it will, well, because of the glue, it won't, but we'll pull it over. Okay. Okay, there you go. So there's a flip-flop, and then I think on this side, we'll go ahead and we'll make it a border tuck. So we'll be able to put something in here. And I think it's fun to do all the things that you would do on a big, a larger journal, to do them on the small ones. Okay, so so we have that. We could put it here. So you open that, you've got journaling space. You open that, you've got your flip-flop. Oops, we didn't put it all the way around. Flip-flop, pockets, border tuck, journaling space. Okay, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at this for a minute or more. And I could, this could also, this could flip under here. Okay, we can flip that under there. Do I have one more thing that we can put? We have, we have this. It is smaller. It is almost as tall. Let's get us another one of these. Okay, so we're going to do this again. This is one of those um, bullet journal index cards from Walmart, and it has already been inked because I, while I was watching somebody's live video, I sat and inked a bunch of things that um, I could use um, because this, the challenge journal, the fall journal, and possibly my upcoming Thanksgiving thankful, grateful, blessed journal, which if you um, are doing the challenge, the the little challenge that we're doing, this JNC Fall 22 um, challenge, and you finish it, you are going to get a digital kit from me and a tag kit from Kara. And this could go in either direction. I think I'm going to put, since we have a flip right there, I'm going to put that other flip on the back. And I'm going to put these in there. Okay. And I have a little notebook. Okay. With like chapel windows little chapel window notebook. So it's going to be kind of cool because I went ahead and added that up there so that it will fit nicely in. Um, okay, I'm going to put these out because while it's um, being uh, put in because I don't want... Okay, we're going to bind this. So you can use this, um, put it in your purse. I like it because it's really small, so it can even go in a small purse. I carry a small purse, so I think it would be be great. And then um, 
I'm gonna check the time and we will go ahead and make some embellishments to go inside. Okay. So little chapel. I've um, lined up all the things the best I could and we need some paper clips. just to help hold it so that it doesn't come undone. Are you guys on vacation this week? We, um, my one set of grandkids is on vacation this week. They're out of school. How cool is that? Our, um, my kids were always out of school for two weeks in October. Um, and it was awesome. We, um, our amusement park here that the teenagers really like, Magic Mountain, uh, was open. And, um, but most of the kids, the, the whole rest of only our area had that, that vacation. Um, all the schools in LA and stuff, they had just gone back to school. So they um, were not out in October. There were no lines. <laughs> it was fabulous. Just ask my kids. They they loved it. We went, and back then they had a thing where they would, um, like for a dollar or something, you paid for a second day. And they, in the beginning, they just gave you a ticket, and you would come back. And then later on, they... Um, they took your picture and you could come back. And so um, our fair was always around the same time back then, our, our, our county fair. And I was, I was not a big fan of letting my kids go on the rides. So I would take them, I'd tell them, okay, you know what? Um, I would rather spend the money and buy you a ticket and we'll go to Magic Mountain, you know, where <laughs> the rides are up there every day and they're monitored. <laughs> and I liked Magic Mountain too, and I loved roller coasters. Um, I say loved because I don't get to do them anymore because I hurt my back, but I, I was a huge fan of roller coasters. And so that's what we would do in October. It was so much fun. And I'd spend less money because, you know, at the fair, I want you we, we eat the food and all that. Well, at the at Magic Mountain, I'd take a lunch in the ice chest. We'd go and we'd meet because back then, you, I mean, I could let them go off if they want. We usually took one or two extra kids with us, too. Um, so, but it was a blast. I'm so glad that that was a, a little tradition that we had. And I didn't have to worry that they were on fair rides until they were big enough to go to the fair by themselves. And then, you know, who knew? <laughs> who knows? So we would do all the animals and the, we'd go on a, a concert day that was a concert. Back then you didn't have to pay separate for the, the concert. The concert was in, included in your ticket price. And so we, we had a good time. So I decided to go ahead and do this one's um, pieces on the outside. And so then I can add a little bauble here if I want to um, or whatever. I think that would be really cool. Or if I'd have made it longer. Darn, Julie. Oh, I can still do it. Look at it. <laughs> this can be its tie. Maybe. If I'd have made it longer, it definitely could be. What do you think? Oh, 
Oh, well. Anyway, could have done that. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Okay, so this we made basically from the, um, the little kit that I gave you. Okay, so, and then I added in an index card. I added in this scrap that was from my mom's um, flyer. I added in some lined scrap and some more lined scrap. And look at, we've got pockets. I'm, I'm just giving this, it's, it's uh, telling it what to do, okay? So if you go through and crease each page, you're the, it'll, it might do better. Staying closed, it might. You can use your phone folder. It'd probably work better. Okay, so there we go, our little our little goodie. And then we can, um, oh, we still have this. So what I was going to do with this is I was going to make it a tuck pocket, like right on the inside. It's a little tuck. Little tuck. So have you checked out the new Poppies digital kit in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop? It is going, I think it's going to be perfect for um, fall, for Christmas, for November when you, um, for some of us doing Veterans Day Remembrance type things where the poppy is the prevalent remembrance flower. Um, also, uh, Wizard of Oz. If you've got that um, in your in your plans, I think it was, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a bow here. Just tie a bow. Okay. And I will decide if I like it before I double tie it. Um, and then I think I can just come in with like a piece of lace or something, something that will close it. Or a paper clip would be, um, would be great just to, to bring a paper clip in, maybe with some music on it. Okay. Okay. So, um, we have a tuck spot, uh, the squirrels is our opening page here and you can journal here you can add a picture or something here we have an adorable little pocket right here ready for for something we have this is already inked you could go through and ink everything else if you wanted so it all matched we have a true flip-flop okay flip-flop Another pocket. Our owl, and our owl even has a little pocket. Okay, our owl has a little pocket. That's so funny that I keep putting those in upside down. And then here you've got some more of the lined paper. You have another flip flop here. This one is not a flip flop flap. Just boom like that. Another little pocket. There you go. So, and this will fit in a small pocket. Like if you've done a flip in your journal and you have just a small pocket that you can add something into, this will, this is going to fit in there perfectly. So, um, yeah, I really, really like, I like the way that turned out. So, um, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and add some, some embellishments. I'm going to start with a paper clip out of this ticket. 
Okay, you know what? Let's fold it over. Fold it over. And then, well, we'll cut these and then we'll cut the bottom ones after it's glued together. How's that sound? Okay, so we're going to make it look like a ticket. This was in the Emerald Happy Meal last year. And I still had one. Okay, I'm thinking if I leave that as the bottom and put the, the larger part on the outside, put the smaller part on the inside. Okay, um, I'm going to want some Fabric Tech, is my glue of choice. So we have a brand new challenge starting tomorrow, the October Junk Journal Challenge. Um, the Patreons, uh, the Diamond and Emerald Patreons have already gotten to see what we're doing. And I think it's going to be another um, fun one. And um, I think it's going to be a great one for this time of year. That's all I can tell you, <laughs> except be here tomorrow at 1030 Pacific Standard Time to find out what we are doing for October. And if you want to be a VIP and a part of the design team for November, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to finish your October challenge, finish it on time, and post it in all the posting places. And you could, well, you will be a VIP guest team design team member. Um, that's how I'm doing the design team at this time is um, the, the people that were in, that um, finished their journals, finished them on time and posted them. They become the VIPs and part of their perks is for one month they are design team members as they make things out of the kit that I gave them as their gift for finishing, finishing on time and, and all of that. So, um, yeah, so do check out this poppy kit. This was the, um, the VIP for those that finished the August Little Golden Book Challenge. And so they received the poppy kit, which it's 61 pages. And they received that as their, their gift. So I'm just going to decorate this with a poppy. This is out of one of the mini pages. Mini, M-I-N-I. -I, and M-A-N-Y. There's 61 pages in this digital kit. Um, it's because the, I, I go ahead and do the sizes for you because um, on our computers, it's not true to size to just um, put two 5 by 7s next to each other out of two 8 by 10 or 8.5 by 11 um, pieces, okay? They don't, they don't just automatically fit there. And so... Um, I go ahead. I want them for myself. I want the the um, the sorry, <laughs> distracted. I want the little um, the other sizes. So I make them, and they are already ready. And if there's white space, I usually add more items so um, so you're getting more stuff like on the five by seven pages the side by side ephemera pages you get more ephemera usually okay that did not quite <laughs> it cracked oh well I'm gonna put it here I can grab another one later. Well, yeah, it's gonna. 
what I'm thinking is I can put this on here for now and then um, I'm going to go ahead and add glue to the top of it like glossy accents or something to to close it off okay let's go ahead and do that and we end up upside down <laughs> ah. Well, I think a little charm off of this would be kind of cool. That's, I do have other. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in, in this direction. Put it, then put it back in. And turn it around. And let it flip down. Okay, so there we'll have. We'll have that, okay? Um, let's see. So I have also the other digital I added to the kit or to the Etsy shop was the new um, antique scrapbook collage digital. And it's an actual scrapbook. It's actual scrapbook pages. And I decided rather than undoing these um, now this page I can I can go in and pull those off but these the way that they are around each other I, I couldn't get them off and I couldn't get the the really awesome color so I was like you know what I already I spent the money on it. let's t let's go ahead and we'll just turn it into a digital so there's that's got poppies so this is the companion kit for the poppies kit. It had several poppies in it. And so, um, so that's how it became the companion kit. Was I had these, cause look at these poppies, they're amazing. And um, <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I can't really use them like they are okay this one we might have to cut down of course it could go like right in here yeah we do need to cut it a little that's fine we'll cut it just little bit okay so this this new digital it has 10 pages but then I've taken the I'm gonna put it in upside down because I want to see the poppies those 10 pages have then been um, I did them in all the sizes okay so we'll put that one in here and we could back these. That would be really good. I didn't, but we could. Um, the, these pages that I'm cutting off of right here, these were all, um, well, they're not really misprints, but they're extra. And I was, when I was cutting out the, okay, I think we can go up like this. See, I mean, <laughs> and I did cut a couple of these out to use the, the really cool ones in the, on, off the full size page. So you get a full size page, then you get them at five, the five by seven or side by side size, and then you get them at, um, I'm thinking you could go ahead. This could be a, like a little double tie. It would be awfully small though. An awfully small little. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there and it's going to be a little double tuck. Except for that's a good um, journaling. Here, we'll put it here. Okay, so we put it here. And it'll give us a tuck here and a tuck down here. So two little, little tiny tucks. 
Okay, so added to the shop this week are um, the antique scrapbook collage digital. And the scrapbook, one of them is from the 1890s and the other one is from like 1906 or something like that. And we have in the the kit, the the poppies kit, we have lots of things that can fit in here on the mini page. So here we also have these again even smaller. And so this is the this is the smallest page that I did. But you get eight of the pages um, down at this size. You can see you get Daisy. Somebody was pointing out um, on one of these, there's a dog with a flower. He's really cute. Okay, so we've got this. And that can go down under here. Okay. Flop pages, little pocket here. So this one has poppies in it. I love this owl. So I'm just trying to use the pieces that are. that were extra. So of course the other thing you can do is you can rip around these. Okay, she in here. Yeah, her. I want to I'm going to go ahead and add her. So you can go ahead and what I was thinking about when I was doing this You can go ahead and cut these and have them, you know, like together in a instead of on the pe on the page, especially since this is my extra. Okay, and you may see some of these images show up again in other things, and you may have seen some of them in other things already. But here we have we have her. And I think she can go like up here and deck and embellish that. Okay, there she is. And I think we can, even though these ones don't have poppies, I think we can still use these little kids in the, in the decorating of this little goodie. Okay. So there we've got this one. The hat is the perfect color. I think that one goes down here kind of like it's a, well, it could have, it's too big though to go across, but it could be like a little flap. Um, but I think I'm going to, hmm. I think we'll put it on here.
So um, instead of just poppies going by the color to pick out your items that you're going to use. So how cool is that, though, being able to just come in? I mean, and if you are doing a pink October, you've got all these pink, beautiful pink roses. And these arrangements here are so pretty. I think that one's cool with the, the little kid with the, with the baskets. And there's a strawberry. It's the right color, too. So, um, so again, this is the antique scrapbook collage pages. And this is our freebie Friday. It's available in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It's in the files section. And it is there waiting for you. So um, while you're there, you'll find a full digital kit that we put out back when we were home, safer at home. And um, it is a great little digital it's very eclectic and we we've had a lot of fun using that kit so back when we did the beginners um, junk journal series I made a journal out of that kit and you can find that there I'm going to add that right there okay so embellishing and decorating this just like you would a regular big journal but in miniature who likes to make things who likes little things I love little things okay so can just keep doing that until you feel like you have done everything that you want to do now I could go ahead and go over here and I can, I'm going to go ahead and go up. Nothing says that you have to cut around those. You can, I mean, you guys have seen several things out there, several books and things that look just like that. And that will give us a little goodie to go inside. I'm going to come over here and... I'm going to come down this side. Okay. We've got poppies up on the top, which is cool. Look, we're still too big. There we go. And we've got this one with the strawberry. down strawberry <laughs> okay yeah so you can just keep going on filling it up adding things in until you feel like it is um, full enough for your liking you can stencil in it you can stamp in it all the things that you would normally do i love this little tiny <laughs> this little guy and it was made with our freebie friday um again available in the scrap all about it with dear julie julie facebook group files section we're gonna go ahead and add that little goodie there 
and I hope that you'll make one of these. Again, you can use this for a template and, um, you know, you, I just think it's going to be a great little goodie for, you know, sometimes like the 12 by 12 paper, you fold it and you have just that little, or uh, the coloring books is where I really find it. You have that one little spot. And so I think this is going to be a great little addition for that little spot. Okay. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget, tomorrow is the first day of October and we'll have the October details for the October Junk Journal Challenge. So I hope you'll join us for that and I hope you'll have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.